thanks for clicking on this video. I actually had a different video planned for this week. I went through some stuff yesterday. I had kind of a rough day and I ended up recording a different video. Ended up deleting all of that footage just a few minutes ago just because I'm feeling a little bit different today. And so this video is unplanned too. And uh, let me, I'll explain that a little bit. As I've talked about before, I've struggled with depression since I was a teenager, uh, starting about 15. I'm now 32, uh, so it's been a, a long time. It's been a very long struggle. And I think it was just hitting me really hard yesterday because I was just in a, a bad mood all day and I was just feeling really depressed, really down. I wanna say that there was no trigger, but with me, there usually is something, even if it's not something that I'm angry about or dwelling on. Over the weekend, I did run into, I don't want to say run into, I saw someone at a distance, a person that I um, had cut out of my life a couple years ago. They had become extremely toxic. I've probably alluded to it or mentioned it before, but I'm not going to get into all of that story right now because that's definitely going to be its own thing. Basically, the, the best way to describe it is I saw this person and it just reminded me of all the the anger and rage and pain that this person put me through for a very long time. It didn't help that I had been drinking. I wasn't drunk, but I had had a few drinks. I didn't really, I didn't say anything. We didn't even lock eyes or anything like that. I don't even know if that person even saw me. If they didn't, totally fine with me. Don't really care. I didn't really talk about it or let myself um, really feel the the pain that I was having at the time. I just kind of bottled everything up and I was like, let me unpack this later when I'm sober. The day after came and I really didn't do that. I just kind of, I don't know, I, I didn't think about it and I felt like that wasn't a big deal. I was like, oh, okay, I'm fine today. So I guess I don't really need to talk about it or think about it. And, and so I just kind of let it die there. But yesterday is when it really all came down and it wasn't, and it wasn't from a place where I was thinking about it a lot or anything like that. It was just like the weight of the anger and the pain and things like that I had were being felt. I don't have the same anger towards this person now that I did back then. But like I said, it was just kind of a seeing that person was a reminder of all of the, the pain and issues that I had. So instead, all yesterday, it just kind of felt like gravity was heavier than usual you know like I'm being weighed down more like everything's a little bit more of a struggle and that's probably the best way I can describe how I feel when I'm going through um, a depressing time or a depressive episode my depression is usually very under control I don't struggle with it as much as I used to some of it is the medication I'm on uh, I'd say a lot of it's probably the medication I'm on uh, a good portion of it is also therapy. I'm not going anymore because my insurance is way too high for going to my therapy sessions. But in the time that I did have therapy, there was a lot of soul searching and exploration going on and, and understanding the reasons I feel the way I do about certain things or the reasons that I make some of the choices that I do, whether positive or self-destructive. Through that, I've really kind of focused on the way I see myself interacting with the world around me and the kind of effects I can have on it and the effect it can have on me. That in itself has improved my depression a lot. And don't get me wrong, that's a privilege that I have. That's something that other people don't have yet. And I think it's a place that everyone can get to, but the length of time, the path, is longer and harder and more treacherous for other people than it was for me. And I've been dealing with this for like 17 years. As I was feeling this yesterday, I uh, put out an Instagram post and just kind of was lamenting the way I was feeling. Like, I don't want to feel like this. I hate that I feel like this, but this is the reality. It wasn't so much like a cry for help as it was just needing to physically say it because I wasn't talking to people about it and and I didn't want to single somebody out and and just say hey I'm feeling like this today and I don't think that that's a problem I just wasn't in the mood for that and I knew that I had a platform where I could just say it without 
like I said, singling a certain person out. I have family and friends and my girlfriend that would readily listen to anything I have to say. I just wasn't in the mood to, to, to do that at the time. I just wanted to personally say thank you for those of you that uh, gave a nice comment or messaged me directly because I had quite a few of those and they were very uplifting and uh, the the first person that reached out I mean within like less than a minute of me posting was my best friend and co-host of my podcast Saturday Morning Cartoon Boom Joseph so Joseph thank you so much I don't know if you'll watch this but your friendship means the world to me oh getting sappy getting getting man sappy that's never fun to see right <laughs> When somebody does something like that, and I'm not talking about just me, but if somebody posts something on social media and stuff, don't jump to the conclusion that it's a cry for attention or that it's some kind of pity party because sometimes it is literally the equivalent of just shouting something from the rooftop, you know? It's the act of physically getting something out there just into the wind just for anyone just to say, I'm hurting, and that's fine, that's healthy. Uh, I would encourage anyone, if you're hurting, to say it. And whether it's like me and putting it on social media or telling a certain person or a group of people or friends or family, say it. It, it makes you feel better. I do want to say though that I don't want anyone to get me wrong. It is okay to not be okay. You're not going to feel 100% all the time. You're not perfect. Nobody is. No one's ever going to be on their game 24-7. Likewise, if you're someone that's not going through that kind of stuff, don't expect too much from other people. If somebody's hurting, you know, don't tell them, oh, well, at least you have this, or at least you have this going for you. That stuff really isn't as helpful as you think. I understand that it's coming from a place of trying to cheer somebody up or trying to get someone to look at the silver lining or the bright side of things but sometimes people just need that moment or that day or that week to just feel the pain because otherwise they're bottling it up and that makes it worse so yesterday was just a big reminder to myself that i'm not perfect i don't get this way very often i don't have these depressing episodes too often anymore but I still do have them and I don't think that's ever gonna stop that's okay because I've come to terms with that you know I know the things that I need to do to get myself through that period and I know where my support system is so my only message really for everyone today is to make sure that you have that support system in place or make sure that people that you know that are going through it have their support system in place and be that support system if that's something that you can do and if you see the things that I say or listen to the words that I talk about and you feel like I'm someone that would understand reach out to me I might not have any advice for you because I don't know everything but I do care about you regardless thank you everyone for watching this video I hope you got something out of it and uh, I'll see you next time